Hey there guys, it's been a long time since I've done one of, the, one of these vlogs. Um, and today, I kind of wanted to talk about getting started doing landscape photography again after taking, you know, kind of a long break because I took about two months off during the whole world quarantine thing. Took about two months off and I've been back here in Colorado for about a month now and I've actually been shooting again for about a month, which has been nice. I've been getting out like two or three times a week shooting this back behind me is you know the town that i live in here down in the valley in the mountains this trail today it's called the game creek trail it goes down from the town i live in minturn colorado all the way up to the top of Vail mountain it's about three and a half miles i haven't hiked it in a couple summers actually and uh you know weather conditions are a little bit not ideal today but honestly I decided to go out because I'm trying to shoot any of my more challenging shooting conditions like rain or snow or just kind of stormy like it is today. But I think it is possible if I can get a good view of the mountains and stuff, it might make for kind of a dramatic, you know, scene, you know, to be shooting in. So I'm hoping that it'll turn out pretty good once I get up there. As I was saying about kind of taking a long break from doing any landscape photography or shooting or really anything to be honest with you back out shooting like a few times a week kind of been revamping my website a little bit and starting to do like blog posts again so if you'd like to go check out my photography website it should be linked down below in the description at visionadventure.net to be honest with you even this past winter when i was in guatemala and mexico i wasn't doing much shooting there either so although i did get some a few opportunities to go out and do some, some photography when I was in Guatemala. Not nearly as much as I'd normally like to. But I'm back here in Colorado. I'm you know, generally shooting two to three days a week. I'm out, you know, hiking, getting out of nature, and taking photographs. And I'm kind of feeling, you know, inspired once again to get out and shoot some awesome landscapes <laughs> here in the beautiful Colorado Rockies in the summer. Like, greatest time of year in my opinion so yeah I'm looking forward to kind of getting back into filling these vlogs again and sharing my passion and photography you know for the outdoors and, and nature it's pretty amazing with that being said let's hike to the top of this mountain and see if we can maybe get some nice photos up there looking forward to it <laughs> Most time photographers, you know, as a photographer, you kind of share like your best images on your Instagram or maybe on your YouTube channel or on your website or whatever. But, you know, I think that a lot of people have to realize that like 95% of the photos you take, no one ever sees them. And it's like the top 5% or maybe even less than that that people actually see in these videos I'm making in these photography vlogs. It's very possible that some of them I'm not going to get any good photos, but I think I want people to see that that's kind of part of doing landscape photography is that you're not always going to get great photos every single time you go out. I get back from a trip or a day out or whatever, and I kind of look at my photos and I'm like, eh, you know, not that great. And other times you get some good ones. So I kind of just want to show both sides of that. And my biggest takeaway from that little speech is that in order to get good photos as a landscape photographer or any photographer for that matter is you have to go out and shoot even you know when you're not always going to get great photos when you do get a really great photo you're happy with it makes it all worth it and not to mention for me just being out in nature without even doing the photography makes it all worth it because I just love being out here in the mountains by myself enjoying you know just the beautiful beautiful scenery i have made it up to the top or just about the top of vale mountain back behind me there are all the backside of vale mountain all the ski slopes and everything and 
Still some snow up there, you can see, but it's melting pretty quick this time of year. That was a pretty tough climb. I'm not, not going to lie, I'm sweating pretty bad. It's, it's honestly not hot at all outside. It's actually kind of cool, especially up at this high elevation, but the sky is starting to clear back here. I didn't know what was going to happen. But back behind me there, you have Mount of the Holy Cross and Notch Mountain. Back there, just turn down the exposure there so you can see it. And it looks like the sky is starting to clear behind there, so I'm wondering if I might be able to get some nice shots of that when the sun starts to drop and maybe lights up those clouds. That might be nice, but you can see just they're still completely covered in snow from the winter. You can see like deep back into the Holy Cross Wilderness area there as well, some of those further back mountains. I believe that's Mount Jackson there, further back. You might not be able to see it right here behind uh, Mount of the Holy Cross to the right side of it. The sky's also starting to clear up this way too behind me. It's starting to light up a little bit, so that's that's a good sign. We might get some nice some nice color up here. I think Mount of the Holy Cross is my favorite mountain to photograph that I photographed in all of Colorado. Um, and really it's just because it's such like a jagged, like rugged, just really like very dramatic looking mountain peak. And it's the only 14,000 foot tall mountain that we have in this area, our like local area of mountains here. And it's just stunning. It's just a stunning mountain to look at, especially right now, this time you're still covered covered in snow from the winter. It's just, it's amazing. I photographed it multiple times last summer and even a few days ago, actually. I photographed it from pretty far away, actually. Um, but yeah, I just love shooting this mountain. See, to me, this is what landscape photography is all about. Like, even if you don't get an amazing photo, what is amazing is coming out here and seeing incredible mountain peaks like this completely by yourself in the middle of the wilderness. It's a uh, pretty amazing but I am just gonna wait and see if this part of the sky starts to light up a little bit once the Sun keeps dropping because on this side over here it is starting to light up some oranges over there from the Sun going down I think sunset's still probably about 45 minutes away though so I'm just gonna wait the clouds there are looking like they might they might give us a good show so I'm just gonna sit here have a snack drink some water <laughs> get hydrated and uh, just wait and see see if my opportunity to get a nice photo of that opens up. As things stand, the temperature's dropped a little bit. It started actually raining, so the weather has kind of gone for the worst, but it's kind of okay right now. I had to put on some extra layers because I was getting kind of cold. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just not really seeing a great composition here, and I just don't know if I'm going to get any good light either. It's pretty flat over there at the moment. I mean, we got some light coming out over here where the sun's starting to go down. There's nothing over here where I was looking to shoot. So I don't know, I'm going to wait a little bit longer and see what happens because it, it might light up the mountain here and maybe I'll be able to get a couple a good shot. But regardless, I think, you know, that's kind of just how, <laughs> like I was talking about earlier, getting back in landscape photography. It's just kind of how it goes. Like you don't always get good photos every single time you go out. I think you just need to enjoy the process of going out and just enjoy being out in nature and doing this. And then when you do get great photos, it just makes it all that much better. So I just want to say, I was sitting here waiting for the sky to see if it was going to light up. And I think that was one of the best sunsets I've ever seen. All right, so I'm back at the house now. I just want to talk a bit about these couple few images that I took up on the top of Vail Mountain up there, which at this point was actually like over a week ago, and I've been on another photography trip since, which my next video will be about, which I think is actually going to be pretty cool, but let's dive into this one. I was struggling with trying to find a composition that I was happy with, but I actually did kind of wander off a little bit, looked around, I mean, it's a good thing to do when you're out trying to shoot a location, is to just don't pick one spot or the most obvious spot to take a photo from, try and wander around a bit and get an idea of what might work. Uh, so I was trying to shoot through the trees a little bit. It wasn't really working for me, but I did find a spot that it's kind of this mound, like this rocky mound. So I kind of like got behind that and used that as more of like a foreground. Now the Holy Cross served as the, the background. So that's kind of how that worked out there. So I'll show you those two photos right now.
fairly happy with them. Got one in vertical portrait mode. And then I got another one more zoomed in, I think only to 60 millimeters on my Lumex G85, which is a uh, micro four thirds sensor. So that would be 120 millimeters on the full frame. So that was the vertical one zoomed all the way in on this 12 to 60 lens. And then the vertical one, the portrait one, I think we shot 25 millimeters on this camera, which would be 50 millimeter equivalent in full frame. But I actually printed out those two photos as well, which I have right here. Um, so you can kind of see them. This one printed out, the vertical one, slightly overexposed in the foreground. So if I were to print this one again, I would do it a little bit differently, but overall it's kind of a nice photo. It turned out pretty well. And then the horizontal one that I took in landscape mode, it's kind of like that, 60 millimeters. This one I'm happy with how it turned out. The print turned out better than I think this one over here for whatever reason. This one has ended up a bit, a bit overexposed for my tastes. Um, so this one ended up a little bit better. I had them done kind of like a matte, like fine art finish, um, which maybe next time I'll try to do like a full gloss finish, I think it might actually look better. But, you know, still kind of cool. I think that printing your work is a very important part of, you know, your photography. I think printing your work is, is very important. So I'd recommend you do it. If you are a photographer and you've never printed your work, I think you should print your work because it's cool just to have kind of a physical representation of your work instead of it always being on a computer screen or your phone screen or whatever. We're kind of used to just seeing it like that, so it's cool to see it in a physical form like this. Fun, fun trip. Nice getting back into the photography again, and I'll see you guys in the next photography vlog, which will be coming from a trip that I took to Great Sand Dunes National Park a few days ago, so that will be the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Do subscribe to my channel below if you do like landscape photography and adventure and all that kind of cool stuff because I got plenty more content coming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.